Hello there, everyone. I'm Crazy Caleb, and today we're taking a look at a highly requested one that I've been waiting as a t-shirt, actually. Alphabets. So what we need to do is, essentially, we are going to take these three characters, and this, and this is broken up into two stages. We're going to take this side of three characters first, and what we need to do is, based off of the different logical operators down here, we need to figure out what were the two original characters that would give these outputs. So what we need to do is convert each of these into base 36. In this case, we will add 9 to any uh, letters. And then convert them into binary. Now, I have a nice little handy dandy um, binary conversion sheet right here next to me. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate Victor, Romeo, 3 for the first side. And we're only going to worry about one side at a time, because it's easier that way. So Victor, Victor is the 22nd position in the alphabet, and we add 9 to that, giving us a 31. In this case, that's a 11111. As a matter of fact, that is the highest position in this entire module, so you will never have anything higher than that. <coughs> Excuse me. Romeo is an 18, 18 is a 27. 27 in binary is a 11011. Next up we have 3. 3 stays the same, so that's going to end up being a 00011. So now we're going to grab our ID, because the ID is actually going to be the one that gives us our logical operators here. So we're going to break it up into three, into two triplets, in this case 031, and the 352. And essentially what these numbers are going to correlate to is the zero will correlate to the Victor's um, bitwise operator, three will correlate to the Romeo's bitwise operator, and one will cor correlate to three. Well actually let's find these on the truth tables here. So the number zero corresponds to or, the number three corresponds to implied, or implication in this case, and one corresponds to and. And simply what these are, what these binary numbers are, is the results that were given from each logical operator. So we're taking a look here. We need to find the first character for each um, two characters that were given to us. We need to find the first if it's a one or a zero. So how do we do that? So we take the first number for each of our three characters that were given to us at the beginning, and we simply find the logical operator. Um, we find the input that applies to all of the conditions making them true in this case. So an OR is a 1 for our first result. What outputs give us a 1 in OR? These three do. And it says up here the two left columns are the inputs in order, and the right column is the output. We're working with the outputs here, so we need to work backwards. So either 1, 1, 1, 0, or 0, 1 are our possibilities here. The next up, uh, a 1 applies for imp implication. What gives a 1? A 1, 1 gives a 1, a 0, 1 gives a 1, and a 0, 0 gives a 1 as well. But in this case, we've already figured out that 0, 0 does not apply for OR, so we can already actually get rid of that option. And finally, let's take a look at AND. We're, we are given a zero for AND. So zeros can go for one zero, zero one, and zero zero. But we've already figured out that zero cannot, zero zero cannot be a possibility, and that one zero cannot be a possibility because the implication rule would not be true. So our first two, our first two binary numbers for the first the, for the for the characters here is going to be a 0 and a 1. And that's what we're going to be working with here. So we're going to do that 5 times each time, and hope for the best. So, since this is actually a duplicate, 1, 1, 0, and then 1, 1, 0, we can essentially use the same thing, kind of cheesing the system a little bit. Next up, we have a 1 and a 0, 0. So, using my, my logic knowledge, if we look at imp, there's only one zero, so that kind of already determines what we're working with here. So in this case, our third characters are going to be a one and a zero. And next up, using my logic knowledge again, 
and is giving us a 1, and there's only one 1 for and. There's only one true operator for and, and in this case, that is a 1, 1. And that applies for both of these next two columns. So a 1, 1, and a 1, 1. And now we have our two characters, two original characters from these three outputs. So what we have to do is we have to convert this back into a binary number, and then we have to remember that we are in base 36 still. So we need to subtract 9 if it is a letter. So in this case, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 is a 7. You cannot subtract 9, so this is literally a 7. And then we have a 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. That is a 27. 27 minus 1 is an 18. 18 corresponds to Romeo. And that is our two answers right there. So we are going to submit 7 and Romeo. And this side disappears, and that means that stage has been solved. So now let's do the same for the second side, only corresponding to the second triplet of IDs. So we have a 9, a Victor, and a Uniform. And I would also like to point out that there are some similar characters here. We have, for example, the S and the 5 happen to be very similar, but the S is more, um, has, has lines inside here. So, that's how you can tell a little bit of a difference. And also another similar one is Delta and Bravo. This is Bravo with the little line right here, and this is Delta. So it's important to pay attention for those because they are a little tricky, I will admit. I did catch myself up and struck on that, but let's not worry about that. So now what we're going to do is essentially do the same thing as we did before. Convert each number into binary um, before doing base 36 and using our logical operators. So 9 in binary, and we don't have to add 9, is a 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Next up we have a Victor. Victor is a 20. Is a 31. 31 is a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And a uniform is one less of a position. And you can actually use this guide right here. Uniform is 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And these are the binary numbers. So now what we need to do is figure out our truth tables here. So our first bitwise operation is a 3. That's implication. Next up, we have a 5. 5 is a NAND. And our final one is going to be a 2. XOR. So let's do the same thing we did again. So using my logic knowledge, 0 for an imp doesn't happen very often. As you can see here, there is only one 0 in our output. So that's obviously going to be our answer, is a 1, 0. So next up we have a 1, 1, 1. That can apply in implication, that could be 1, 1, or 1, right here. For NAND, that could be these three. But we've already determined that this is a 0, so this does not work. And a 1 for XOR is right here. We've already determined that is a 0 as well, so... 0, 1 is our answer for that one. Next up, implication is 0 again, so that means that this is automatically true, right here. So that means it's a 1, 0. So we're simply using the outputs, given by our three characters here, and plugging them into the logical operations. And what we need to do is just find the two characters that correspond, um, the two inputs that correspond with each logical operator, and that work for all of them. That's what we're trying to go for. And zero is, uh, implication is zero again, so that's the same stage, so that's a um, one, zero. And finally, uh, implication is a one, NAND is a one, and X or is a zero. So all of the truth values are, all of, all of the values work at zero, zero. So that's our answer.
and we have our two characters in binary. So let's calculate this. So a 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. 1, 0. Combine it. Is a 22. 22 minus 9 is a 13. 13 in his alphanumeric position is a mic. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. An 8, and 8 cannot be subtracted by 9, so this is our answer. So we have Mike and an 8. And just like that, is a solved model. Let's take a look at one more, as this is a little bit of an interesting topic. So we have our ID is going to be a D of 0. 27756, breaking that into triplets. There we go. And our first side is going to be a November 6 and a poppin'. November is a 14 plus is a 23. 23 in binary is a 10111. 6 in binary is a 00110. And Papa is going to be a is a one one zero zero one, and these are our binary. So, our logical operator for zero is an or. Two is an XOR, and seven is an implication by. Now what we're going to do is plug them in. So one is the output for or, and that means that gives us that gives us these three inputs here. Zero is the result for XOR. God damn it. Zero is the result for XOR. But look, we've already determined that one one is possible for or, but zero zero is not possible for or. So that means our answer is a one one. And just to check, implication by 1-1 one, one works. So our answer is a 1-1 one, one for that stage. 0-0-1. Zero, zero, well, an OR for 0 means simply a 0-0. Zero, zero, so that's our answer. So a 1-1-0. One, one, so a 1 for OR is these three values. A 1 for X OR is these two, and a zero for implication by is here. Zero, one works for all of them, so that's our answer. Zero, one. Next up, we have the same value again, so that's also a zero, one. As you can see here, we're working with the two, the same two columns, I guess you could say. We have a one for or, a zero for XOR, but we've already worked with actually this this value right here, so that is actually going to be a 1-1, one, one, and that is a solved stage. And like I said, this can be cheesed a little bit. Some stages are duplicates, so that actually does kind of help and makes the process a lot easier. So, our first binary value, and the thing is is that you always have to submit them in this order. You have to submit the first character and then the second character in that order. It is very specific that you do that, so don't mess up. Play okay, one zero zero one zero one is 17. 17 minus 9 gives us an 8. 8 is a hotel in alphanumeric position. A 1, 0, 1, 1 is going to be a 23. 23 is a 14, which is a November. And we will submit that. Hotel. November. And that's, a site, and that's a stage solved right there. For our next stage, we are going to be working with Uniform, Juliet, and Charlie. And let's convert them into binary. First off, let's get them into base 36. Uniform 21, 1 plus 9 is a 30. 30 in binary is a 11110. Juliet is 10, 
10 plus 9 is a 19, 19 in binary is a 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and Charlie is a 3, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 in binary is a 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. <clears throat> so for our second triplet, 7 is our first bitwise operator, in implied by 5 is a NAND, and 6 is an XNOR. So, let's plug them in. So, implication by is a 1, giving us an output of 1 with these three values. NAND is an output of 1, giving us these three values. We've already agreed that this is not true because implication by gives us a result of 0. That does not work here. <clears throat> and 0 for an X NOR value. And as you can see here, the second position is the one that applies, so our first, first set is a 1, 0. Next up, implication by is a 1. However, NAND is a 0, and there's only one answer for that, so that means that's a 1, 1 by default. And we have the same two columns again, so that means that's automatically a 1, 1 as well. And taking a look back, our fourth column is the same as the first column, so that's automatically a 1, 0. Implication by is a 0, and that actually gives us only one answer for that too. So that is a 0 and a 1, and we are given our last two characters. So, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 is 30 in binary. 30 minus 9 is a, uh, is a 21. 21 is a uniform. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is a... is a 13. 13 minus 9 is a 4. 4 is delta. Now, let's say if I happen to submit this out of order. So let's submit delta first instead, and I'll show you what happens. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Delta gives us a strike. So what that means is we have to actually go and submit uniform first, as order matters here. And then we go back up to delta. And just like that is a solved module. Thank you guys for thank you guys for watching. And as always, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions about this module, please, please, please don't feel afraid to leave a question in the comments. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.